Hello everybody and welcome back to Terraria. So this time we're going all the way down as far as we've gone. Oh yeah, and I accidentally dropped some water down so part of this is going to be dark. But uh, we're going all the way down to see if we can get all the way to hell. And I almost died just then. That was very close. That was extremely close. Honestly. That was way closer than it should have been. I'm an idiot. Oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? This is gonna suck a lot. Oh, it's just murder. Whatever. Freaking piranhas. Get out of here. Okay. Is that about all of it? I should probably put my flipper on <laughs> while I'm here. So I don't uh, drown myself on accident. And unlike most people I've watched that just uh, are like, oh, I have to drain all this water. This is what you should do. You should do this, and then you don't have to drain all the water. You just have to drain how much you've caught in your uh, your little plu. Your like little amount that's in your tube. Your elevator tube. Why can't I not place something there? Is that a pressure plate? Oh it is. That was a that was a trap right there. That's hilarious. <laughs> should I close up this side? I think I probably should. Okay, I thought I missed for a second there. Ooh. Oddly enough, I have done no behind the scenes work other than uh, I looked something up and we got the Muramasa last time. And it can combine, I asked the guide, it takes um, the Crimson Butcher or Lightsbane, depending on if you have Crimson or Corruption. It takes the sword from those, uh, Muramasa, um, this iconic sword from Hell, which I don't remember what it's called. And I should probably take a gills potion. And also the blade of grass from the jungle. So I'm like one wasp stinger short of the blade of grass. And we're going to hell right now. So I'm going to try to get that blade if at all possible. Can I just keep building and not deal with that jellyfish? Oh, that's nice. Oh, and I blocked myself in though. Whoops. Uh, I need some light. Like, dang. It gets dark underwater. Holy crap. I just love that I was able to fish this 100% pickaxe out of the water. And it's this good. Like, holy crap. Okay, this is when you block it off. For the people that are like, I can't drain all this block it off like this and now you're lessening how much you have to drain every single time or you just do this you just let it drain for a second look at that look how easy that was done water problem over maybe a tiny bit but that's minuscule enough not to matter we're probably about to lose in this room anyway wait no we're not we're gonna keep it. How far are we from the bottom? I wonder. Uh, let's zoom out. We are undeterminable. Where are we? I think I'm going to mine and I will only come back when there's something of interest because currently this mining is just boring straight down dig to drop dig to drop so it's gonna be a minute for me but for y'all uh, I'll be back in a flash okay guys we're about to get there we're almost there okay and there's nice a nice little landing spot right over here where I can go down and gather my senses hopefully go away 
Dang, these guys do damage. I forgot about that. Oh, I guess it is the level above <laughs> actually doing the dungeon. But whatever. There shouldn't be much to gain from those chests, but... Ooh. Hellwing bow. A dynamite. Life force potion? That is very useful. Holy crap. Increases max health for a while. A restoration potion. And a zealous hellwing bow. Those are all sweet. Oh, dang it. What can we use? I mean, what can we get rid of? Lead. That. 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 Most of this. <laughs> From mining down and just getting the useless ores that we don't need anymore. Okay, got a health forge. That's something we needed. Um, what are the other objectives? I guess get a uh, demon scythe. Wait, do I still have? Okay, I still have lava and Im the immunity. I should actually just go ahead and put another one on, just for the sake of survival. Come on, bring it, hell bats. Oh, come on, guys. You couldn't even... That's just disappointing. You're just a letdown. I'm so sorry, but it's true. This thing is so huge. I mean, this, uh... This pig is so huge. It's wonderful. Like, I don't even have to swing directly at things. They just die. Huh. There's, like, desks and stuff. I mean, I guess hell has to keep the records, too. Come on. Wait, what am I doing? I actually need ore. As well. So I should be going down. <laughs> but I really want to use these shadow keys. Bat, get out of here. Come on. i open up this wall a bit. There we go. Okay, satisfied. Are there no more shadow chest things? Okay, good. So that potion keeps us safe from Hellstone as well. Thank goodness Hellstone doesn't burn in lava. They could have made this extremely difficult if they wanted to. Because holy crap. Oh, and Hellstone spawns lava. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> This would suck without obsidian skin potions. Like, oh my gosh, this would suck. Because I'm like, I would be drowning in it. Like, literally, I would suffocate in it before it even burned. I, no, I'd burn in it first, but you know what I mean. Like, that's ridiculous. How much do we have? 48. I believe it's going to take a lot. It's probably going to take a ridiculous amount. Um, are there any large veins? This one here. It's quite a good amount. Well, a decent amount. It's kind of concerning when you can't see yourself because you're buried in lava. Yeah, a little troublesome. A little, uh, a little upsetting. Yeah. What was that? Something broke. Did lava break things? How much do we have? So does invisibility only work till you move? Or until you're damaged or something? Or do damage? Yeah. Until you're damaged or do damage, I think, is how long that works. Let's go see if we can find some more good areas. That's a lot of hellstone right down here. Ooh, our lava vulnerability is about to, about to wear off. That would be bad. Man, this takes a lot of hellstone, doesn't it? 
At least I'm assuming it will. Now I need to save one of these potions of of lava and vulnerability for going down my elevator again, just to make sure that all the lava got out. Because if it didn't, then I would die very, very quickly. Especially because um, the momentum would push me down and do it pretty far. And I don't think I could actually grapple out. Dang, are there like, are those chests rare now? I guess they are. What is this? Oh, nothing, I guess. Let's get this stuff. Really, slime? Slime, go away. No one loves you. Not even your mother. I'm sorry, slime, come back. How many do I have? 117. Eh. Great, now the imps are in on it. I hate you. You guys suck. You guys suck a lot. They're so annoying. Like, holy crap, they're so annoying. Okay, don't need a vase. Don't need stone. Don't need... Obsidian bricks look cool, though. Don't need obsidian platform. Um... Actually, wait, no, I thought that was silt. I was like, ooh, actually silt. <laughs> because silt is actually run through the ple. Silt is run through the extractinator to help you make amber, which is used for crate potions. And crate potions are amazing. Okay, survived that somehow. So those freaking things were ganging up on me. And I was stuck on the wall having to open the door outwards because this damn skull was right there. That is so annoying. Oh man. Are there no chests? Oh, hi, imp. You horrible, horrible thing. Oh, come on, bat. Leave me alone. I just want to steal everything from your dimension. Well, realm. Dimension? Yeah, no, it's not a dimension. Not quite. Still in the same world. Well, actually, technically, yes. I do want to steal everything from their dimension because I would like to steal everything from this world. So, that works. I think we're going to give up the hunt on chests, though. To just get Pleur. how's my potion holding up what is this creepy creepy is what that is um don't need an obsidian door okay I think we're gonna give up the hunt for chests to go for hellstone yeah let's do this Dive into it bravely and stupidly as well. Wait, how many do I have left? I have two of those. So I have a little bit of time in here and then I need to go make sure the elevator isn't full of lava. Cause that would suck a lot. Like, that would yeah, that'd be bad. Uh do we have to breathe in lava? I assume we do, so I'm gonna just stick my head up every now and then just to be safe. Uh, okay, there's a big vein up here. Come on, jump up. Right up here, there should be quite a bit, yeah. So it actually spawns quite a bit of lava when you mine hellstone, doesn't it? Is it actually a full bucket per block? Because if so, that is a lot. Like, that is too much, man. Because you end up mining a ton of hellstone, soon enough, hell's freaking overflowing. I do wonder, 
I brought a lot of lava down with me. Like, I put on a potion and just mined through a lake. Or three. And I do wonder how long it will actually take for that lava to run down. Because I need that cleared out so I don't have to use obsidian skin potions every time. Especially because I don't have a ton of them, but I need to build a bridge to fight the wall of flesh, hopefully next episode. I don't think there's anything else I need to do before fighting the wall of flesh, but I'm not really sure. So I'm going to consult uh, a few people on the, on the reddit probably, probably on the reddit. How much do we have? 218. Okay. We get to like three or four hundred and I'll be happy. Oh, the furniture actually pops off the ground when... I want to also kill some demons to try to get their spell because their spell is freaking sweet. It's a demon scythe and it spins like their dark thing they throw at you. And the great thing is that it's piercing, I believe. If I remember right, it's piercing. So I can go through a few enemies and still do the same damage. Which is really nice. Because you can make a ton of them. Yeah, it's that. It looks sweet, right? And there's a small chance when you kill them that you'll get it. And it's not very big of a chance. We're gonna see... It seems like... The spawn rate of those... Large veins of... Hellstone are actually around these... So I think I'm actually just going to keep following these, maybe? Yeah, like over here. Oh great, a giant ass worm's coming. Yeah, did you see it down there? Freaking huge. Come on. They don't actually provide much of a, an enemy anymore, though. It's kind of sad. They used to be generally scary. Generally? Genuinely. Genuinely scary, that's what I meant. Um, ooh, we're almost out. Okay. What are we at? 285. Okay, we're gonna get to a satisfactory level of Hellstone stuff. Well, I mean, I already have the Crimson Armor. I think the, the Hell Armor is slightly better. But we should be able to take the Wall of Flesh with the Crimson Armor. Ah, uh, we'll Crimtain, whatever. I call it Crimson, uh, same thing. Where are all the chests? There used to be a ton of them. At least I remember us not being able to open a ton of them. Might be because we kind of cheated the dungeon. Can I just, like, kill stuff, please? Ow, pain. Ow, pain. Okay. Oh, come on. Slime. 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 And I could have swore that slimes actually dropped freaking uh, lava. I thought in the past that they dropped. Okay, sweet. I got Flame Lash. One of my favorite spells. If I remember right. If I, yeah, I think it's one of my favorite. Dude, just stop. Cool it, man. Uh, what do we not need? Crap. We don't need whatever this is. Demon Torch. Hellbats, get out of here. Give me this chest, because they are awesome. Oh wait, it's not empty. Definitely want that. Crap. Uh, we don't need dirt. We can get more mushrooms. We don't need those. That's actually Meteorite Bar, hell yes. Okay, so demons aren't that easy to kill. <clears throat> Let's get this bit of hellstone before our potion runs out. We should be fine exploring a little bit of hell without it, but we still have our magic mirror just in case things go south. So, I mean, it's generally safe-ish, sort of. Safe-ish, sort of. Let's get flame lash out. 
Oh shit, that's a voodoo doll guy. Cannot kill you over lava. Give me that. Give me that. Okay. Whew. If he died over lava, the wall of flesh would have spawned just then. Ah, uh, what a wonderful... What a wonderful mana weapon. Do we have time on our... Okay, we have a little bit of time. Dang. Ruthless, huh? Minus 10% knockback. Well, I don't care about knockback if it's something like this. Okay, we don't have a whole lot of time, so I'm just going to mine it right here. Oh, and of course, there's a freaking... Yep. Hi, buddy. Are there two of you? Okay, yeah, get out. Ugh. I don't trust my, my potion to hold on. Um, I'd like to find one more shadow chest. Oh, do we... Do I not need more than one key? The open shadow chest does not use it up. I thought it used it up. I was going to be real sad if it... E Ooh, I'm not immune to lava anymore. I was going to be real sad if he dropped that spell just then and it fell in lava and I would have to kill myself to get it. But I probably would have done that. Honestly. Okay, getting dangerous. Getting a little bit dangerous. Come on, fire imps die. There you go. How much mana does this use? Where is that? 12 mana? Oh, we can fire this thing all day. Okay, so let's magic mirror home, actually. And let me see how much time we have left on the clock. Five minutes. And, uh, well, we filled out our bar and stuff that we want. Um, do we consider this a boss item? I guess. So let me do some sorting right quick, and we'll see what we can make with all the all these goodies. Okay, everybody, just to um, uh, just to support the fact that I am a complete idiot, I had recording reversed while I was flooding. I did this whole part of talking to myself without recording. Apparently, I broke off right here, flooded down, and made an obsidian pool right here. The lava was up to like there. I mined all that, got some obsidian, because you need obsidian to make the hellstone. And, uh, or to make the hellstone into bars. So we used that hellstone. We made us a set of molten armor, which is pretty high defense. 8, 9, and 8, with a 17% extra melee damage boost for the set. And we also made, what else it, uh, oh, the hammocks. 150% axe power and 70% uh, hammer power, so that's ridiculous. And it's actually a pretty decent weapon on its own. We also made the Fiery Greatsword, because I'm going to go hunt down the last stinger we need to make this, uh... I forget what it is. I think it's Lightsbane requires all four of these. I think it is. And I f also figured out something with the Flame Lash, is that I'm an idiot, and that you can hold this. And it'll just follow you, and you can use it. It's just not piercing, so it only hits one. But if you hold it, and then you like say like I want it to go that way, it'll like you say up at the start. It's what? Does it just go the way you're facing? No, it goes away from you. It seems. Hmm. Oh come on, get out of here! Really? Just run into a slime? Man, I'm a genius. Fire ton of water bolt. Screw it. Oh man, the forest is so far away. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, this episode's been going pretty long. So, uh, I'm gonna go get that stinger and we'll be back when I'm about to put it together. About to make the blade of grass and then we'll make the. I, I think it's called Light's Bane. We'll make the Light's Bane together. So, back in a flash, guys. The very first hornet I killed had this stinger. 
And that is the last stinger we need, actually. So let's get all of our blades. And we go make the blade of grass. A pretty good sword. Actually, all of these are really good swords on their own. The Muramasa is really fast. Does 22. Uh, that's less knockback. Whatever. Blade of grass. I'd have to say... That's slow. So I think blade of grass is probably the best out of them. Where do we actually combine these? Is it like the tinker table or something? Crap. Um. Died. 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 What do I do? What do I do with this? Where? At a demon altar. Oh. I have one. Yeah, it's just right over here. Just a uh, a morning jog for this character. Oh, come on. Keep it up. There we go. Keep up the speed. Let's clear out this. Should just be right after this drop. Yeah, there they are. Okay, let's make this thing. Knight's Edge. No, it wasn't Light's Bane. Light's Bane is the alternate to Blood Butcher. The Knight's Edge. Average speed. 49 damage. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's not auto swing though. Dang it, that kind of sucks. Let's see if we can reforge this before... Whoops. Let's see if we can reforge this into something decent. Well, something de It's already amazing. Whatever. You get what I mean. Strong. Knockback. Damage. Less knockback. Um... No, I'm gonna need knockback. Speed, less knockback. Speed, less knockback. Just knockback. Damn it. Just tiny bit of damage, more knockback. Ugh. You know, I'll take the knockback, because we're about to go into hard mode, and then it's gonna be terrible. So let's see, is this a usable... Yeah, that, that'll do really well, I believe. Oh, I didn't never I never noticed that. You can turn the campfire off and on. That's sweet. So we got a lot of goodies this episode. We are pretty decked out in many, many ways. Let's see if we can actually like Oh we can. It just fires off that way. So if you enjoyed the episode, then leave a like and uh subscribe for episodes every day. Hopefully. They should be coming every day. Until next time, have a nice day, and I'll see you later.